Well, if it isn't Mr. Hobla, this is gonna be another one of your fake comebacks. Oh yeah, <laughs> try number three, huh? Okay, well, what makes you so sure this time that it's gonna work out? Well, I was working full time, that's one thing, and then some other things kept my mind off it, basically. That does sound quite reasonable. But you're not gonna get me this time! This was all a strategy! You planned this all ahead five months ago when you made that yeah. video. I know it. Everybody Strategic. knows it. But if what you say is true, what's gonna be the first video? Is it gonna be a big deck guide? Progression series ending, maybe? Some lie detector Gwent? Ooh, what about custom card? Oh, come on! It's obvious what video we're gonna do first. It's gotta be me, Gads! Iris Von Everick, Deploy, give an allied unit vitality 4. Now this ability doesn't seem that overwhelming at first. Obviously, it's a 9 for 6, which is pretty bad, honestly. I mean, come to think of it, it's a 9 for 6 over 3 turns. But, there is a combo in this game that every memer should try. And this is meme cards. <laughs> I mean... I mean, come on guys, let's just let's just show you what I'm talking about. All right, we're playing imposter and you probably know what that means We're playing Vipper or Viper. I don't know. I'm, I like to call him Vipper makes more sense So the idea is basically to use Iris's companions and Iris von Everick To actually put a body on the board when we discard the Vipper or to find the Vipper in the first place now the idea of the whole thing is to you have like a lot of consistency tools because you do need all your tools in round ones. You have things like Royal Decree, Oneromancy, Roderick, all cards that pull out golds from your deck so that you are able to either find the Iris's Companions or the Iris Von Everett because you do want to have the Viper in hand. Now a lot of these decks used to run the whole sort of uh, Fisher King and the Vicovaro Novices because Fisher King would put the Viper on top and then you could draw them with Vicovaro Novices but that's like so much tempo lost during those two turns and I mean this deck doesn't really care about tempo realistically um, <laughs> it literally just cares about the Vi the Vipper not dying uh, after like <laughs> I don't know the first two turns uh, or like getting heat wave there's so many like ways this deck gets countered but I feel like this is a very consistent way of getting the Viper in your hand I'm gonna be playing Crystal Skull because one of my elder bears is gonna have to be not protected by my defender and in general, I just hope I find all my good cards, basically. The thing with Viper is, like, it has to be in your hand. Now, I could play the stratagem that gives a card in your hand, but I think with the idea of Iris Von Everick and Iris's companions being in the deck, there doesn't really need to be a reason for, you know, us to play Cursed Scrolls. So, yeah, that's why I am deciding to go with a very sort of draw everything kind of route, but... With the Iris Companions and Iris Von Everick, that should not be too much of a problem. So let's just move on to some games and see how we do. Alright, we're facing Syndicate. Now, Syndicate could have self-poison on our Vipper. So I think I actually go Oneromancy for the Iris' Companions here. I think that's the best sort of line here. We get the Vipper. We have to wait a turn for the Whipper to come out. But that's okay. We, we, we banish... <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, it does, it banishes our own Neuromancy. So maybe that wasn't the best play. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit rusty, to be fair. I, but I want to go Menno for, I guess I could have gone Onero for the Coupe de Grasse as well. So it does poison. Oh no, he poisons that. Oh god. Okay, so how do I, <laughs> can I play around this? I, I can't Crystal Skull this thing. That's annoying. I wish I could have Crystal Skull this thing. I could lock the Gellart, which would be terrible, by the way. But I don't think I have a choice here, do I? I mean, that's the only way I can somehow win this. Okay, we get the Adarin at least. So I, I, I think this, this play was actually correct. Because if he kills the Vipper, we just lose the game instantly. So I think this was alright. This was... Yeah, this was definitely alright. This is not a bad play for sure. So we get the Vipper. It is doomed, but that is fine. Okay, he does kill that. That's fine. Alright, he's just trying to fish for something here that does the, that deals with it. There's Morels and then there's Junior that does it. Okay, Morel. Oh, Morel's the oh, on top. It was on top as well. That's so good. Okay, uh, I think I just lose here then. Yeah, that's good. 
right. There are certain matchups that just are instant losses, and some matchups that there might be a chance, you know? If, if, if like, this guy probably plays Heat Wave, but if he doesn't draw the Heat Wave, you know, that's a, that's a different story. So we can't always, like, discredit ourselves here. Okay, we, we are missing pretty much everything. How did we just miss everything, dude? How did we miss both Iris, Companions, and the Vipper? All three of these cards. All th I, I needed at least one of them. In this hand, at least. Oh my god, how does this always happen to me? Alright, we got... Blaze of Glory. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, actually, no, it's not. That's actually kind of a, one of our best matchups, if we draw well enough. That's a... Ooh, I love that. Love that hand. We got the Viper already. We can actually manually discard Viper now and actually draw good cards with Companion, which is very good. All right, give me that. Give me that Viper. Unless he has Heat Wave, then I'm sad. If he has Heat Wave on it, I'm, I'm sad, obviously, but we move. We also have the good coin here. That's actually quite important. The only thing that's a bit annoying is this this boat, but I think I'm 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 fine with this boat being there. Boat won't be like a problem realistically. So I think I go. So what do I want to discard here? I think I I draw Iris. No, actually I. I don't want to discard just yet. I want to play the, the companions later. The, like, round control doesn't matter. Like, round length in general doesn't matter here. So do I want to play the defender first? I think I should play defender first. Because, like, either he has Morkvark or he doesn't, right? That's just how it is. And then we play for Idarin. Like, he either has Morkvark or he uses Leader on this. Both is fine with me. Both is very, very fine with me. Okay, that's the second boat. That's very annoying, but we move. It's fine. We can't really play around it now. So I go for... That's so goddamn annoying, actually. Alright, we go for the Adarin here. We're just gonna spawn a second one of these bad boys. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna shoot at my dude. That's fair enough. Um... I mean, with the Adarin, this, with this, the, like a Spring Equinox would have been quite useful. Thing is, though, I don't know. I could just go like for a good old two O, and just use my. Oh, okay, that's a that's very nice. That's very nice of him. So we we just go off here. We just pop off here, basically. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we just pop off here. That's pretty much what we're trying to do here. This is pretty fine. So we have all the ones we need. And now we just do this, right? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Alright, now we got all of the graveyard hate that could possibly exist. And all- and we- I mean, we didn't even use Iris' companions for Iris, which is a bit sad, but... That's kind of like the idea of the whole deck to use that combo to discard the Vipper, but... That's only if we don't draw the Vipper in hand, right? That's that's just a, like an emergency sort of thing. We got two pillars, which is actually quite important. If you think about it, that is actually quite big. So, because we can get like another two Snake Boys. I mean, I'll just go, I'll just I'll just play the Iris here. I, I mean, I'll just stall here. I mean, it's still like a nine, right? It's better than the seven in this case. And these guys are worth quite a lot here, actually. Wait. Oh, he has a Viper as well. Doesn't really matter for me, though. 
Real realistically, that that does not matter too much for me. Look at that. They're slowly coming out. Slowly coming out, Snake Boys. Look at all these. Po oh, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at it. This is not a good graveyard if you're Skellige. This is not a good graveyard if you are Skellige. That is a that is a problematic graveyard right there. Oh, look at these boys. Look at these boys coming out. Oh, dude, they're not stopping. They're not stopping. Oh, no, 66 points. Holy moly. That's crazy. God, that's so funny. I love this deck. This is such a stupid deck. I love it. Okay, so he's going to kill one of my snakes. One of my live snakes. We need to get the blood thirst, which is nice for him. Is that even enough? I don't think it is, actually. You kill the one that's not doomed, sir, by the way. I think he knows that. He should know that, right? Why would he... What? Why did he kill the wrong one? He killed the wrong one. It's a bit silly, don't you think? Well, we are now on equal points. Alright, so... Yeah, there's the Herald. You do expect to see it. This is... Oh, that's annoying. So, I think I'll just banish here. I banish the Burna. I have no idea why I'm still playing here. Are they gonna Are they gonna come out? I'm not- I think one of them is gonna come out. I think one of them is gonna come out here. Ouch. Very rude. Very, very rude. Look at that. Look at that. Synergy. No! One snake escaped. <laughs> All right. I mean, we'll take it. I mean, this was. I mean, it was. We lost, but we kind of won. Honestly, Let, let's be real. We kind of won that one. All righty then. Where's the companion? There's the companions. You love to see it. All right. Vipper. And bye bye, Whipper. It was nice knowing you. So we actually put a body on that, which is pretty cool. Oh, he just forfeited. Okay. I love binary matchups where the opponent can just forfeit turn two because he knows there's no way he wins. Isn't that great, guys? This is great intuitive gameplay right there. I think I just do this. I think I just play the defender, play it safe, see what he does. He's mill, right? So there might be a chance of him just popping out our Idarin anyway, right? Or he can do that. Yeah, that's game. Bye-bye. Alrighty then, enslave, yay, fun enslave. He's enslave six, so there's no like invo, or ball, or mushy truffle. Yeah. No, he's gonna. <laughs> oh my god, it's so annoying. Ah. All right, carapace. That's a bit scary. Is it? I mean, if he... Uh, no, that's... Okay. We got a Darren with... Spring Equinox, which is pretty good. We get... Oh, we got the combo as well. Only thing we're missing is quite literally everything. Yeah, that's nice. Imagine, like, getting all the good cards in your, in your hand. That's... That's something, huh? Okay, we get Menno at least, which gives us Decree, which is pretty useful. So we have we just open with the with the classic here, right? We just open with the classic. That's interesting. How did I did I mulligan a pillar? The question is which one of these options is the best. I think I want to try an RNG first. That's that's amazing. That's amazing RNG, dude. That's insane RNG right there. No. Interesting. That is very interesting. Alright, so we are gonna go for... I think I go Idarin here. And do this now. I think this is the fine play to make. I don't even know what the hell he's playing, to be fair. Okay. So now... We do this. We go for Stefan here. Double... Self oh that's actually kind of scary. I'm I'm not gonna lie guys. That's actually pretty scary. Alright. Alright. So now we go Roderick, find see what we find. We find Damien, that's pretty nice. Damien is quite useful. I mean we could also just pass at some point, right? 
We can like Damien next turn and then Spring Equinox and then pass. That seems kind of good. We do have point. We had we have do have quite a bit of points here still. All right. So we do this now, and we actually just I think I'm fine just using the Equinox here. If he doesn't get ahead of me now, I'm just passing right. But we have a lot of vipers in our in his graveyard here. That's what eight times. Oh, what he passes? No way. That is such a good pass. Okay, he gave one of them Dune. Fair enough. Fair. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. That was a smart play from Mr. Opponent there. Giving something doomed. But now my snakes are going to go eating. So we got, uh, what? 28 points of carryover if they all just, like, come out at some point. That's not terrible. Okay, that's... Uh, it's not what I wanted. Definitely not what I wanted. How does he have so many cards in Graveyard, dude? Oh, if he has like a... Oh, man. You know what card would really screw me over here? There's one card in particular that really screws me over here. And that's Mortart. If he actually has Mortart, I'm gonna be... <laughs> I'm gonna cry, dude. Dude, please don't Mortart me, dude. <laughs> please don't Mortart me. Uh, no. He's gonna Mortart me, dude. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's very fine, actually, come to think of it. That's... Super fine. Is there any way I can get to this Siegfried? I don't think there is. Well, I mean, I haven't even played uh, the last tactic card in this round. I mean, this is fine to just do like this, right? I just lock this because it's big and it gives me lots of points. Okay, Piggy. I mean, Piggy we just lock, right? Piggy's a dope lock. Look at that. Snake's coming back. Wait, what if I just pass here? Man, where's my... Ah, dude, where's my Siegfried, bro? This guy just played into this so hard. I'm actually gonna cry here. I think I play this now. No, he's just got vipers. Man, oh, dude, if I had Siegfried here, bro, where's my Siegfried? Why? Why? I have Oneromancy. Oh, dude, that's so sad. We still might lose here, dude. Ah, mine if that's uh, yes, Leute. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna he's gonna have more carryover than me. How does he have more carryover than me? I am playing oh dude no it is so sad this is this actually might be the saddest thing I've ever experienced in my life guys oh man I should I probably could have passed there honestly I should have probably passed there I don't know why I didn't pass there that was a bit of a throw I mean he should, he should have some stuff left right okay I mean you always use leader here right no leader okay that's a con oh that's interesting I think I just kill this then that's fine. We do lose some points on Iris, and I, and Siegfried kind of sucks here, honestly. But what you gonna do? Yaga. For real? You gonna go? You gonna go Yaga? You gonna yell Yaga on me? Wait, I, I can, I can, I can play around this though. I can very easily play around this. Yeah, this is a very easy play around. Am I winning this? Wait, what did he discard? Oh, Will of the Wisp. Wait, why does he have Will of the Wisp? The hell? Why is he playing Will? Oh, I mean, he's playing Yaga. This guy's kind of trolling, but he still might win. <laughs> Honestly. Oneromancy? I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm pretty okay with winning this one. Even though I, w it, it could have been a lot more spicy the way we did win it. But we'll we'll take it. We we take those. We take these. Every slight victory we just have to take. Why is it why is it why is it green? <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Get purified. Oh wait, I should have probably done that after using leader. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. Don't worry. Like it does it doesn't actually matter. Alright, we're playing Deadeye Ambush. So last time they forfeited instantly when we played the Viper, so let's see what they do this time round. 
Let us see what they do. Okay, we don't have combo. We don't have combo. Where's combo? Oh my god. <laughs> we need two cards, bro. I mean, we actually only need Iris in hand or Viper in hand, and that's all we need, but we never get it. We never do. Why do we never get it? How is that how is that happening? How is that constantly happening that we just never get these friggin' cards, bro? So dumb. It's just so awkward. Oh, I shouldn't have done it like this. That's annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna try and play garbage and get away with it. If that's if that's gonna work, then I'm I'm happy enough. Oh, he's Maddox. Oh, Maddox. Okay, then we 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 have to keep the squirrel. That's pretty important, actually. Uh, if only I could pass on eight, dude. If, oh, okay, this could actually force him to play a bit suboptimally here, meaning that he will not he will be on even points. Okay, okay, that's not it. That's not the suboptimal way. That's actually the perfect way to do it. Alright, what if we just pass here? <laughs> what if I do just pass here? That seems like a good idea. There's the Viper. Thank God we get it at least. Alright. Oh, this is such a good hand as well. We can actually get rid of Maddox as well. This is pretty good. I mean, this is not like great. But it ain't terrible. Not, let me say that, guys. Let me tell you about how not terrible this actually is. This is a good hand. I'm not gonna lie. This is a very, very good hand. If the, if we had this hand in round one, we would have been winners. All right. Uh, I guess we just have to. Uh, I should have probably. I probably should have discarded Vipper first because mm, actually, yeah, no, because it's still uninteractive, but it eats away at my graveyard, which is pretty important. I mean, yeah, you just, they just always bleed you. This is what Gwent... This is what Gwent has been for the last two years, realistically. Just bleed. Just always bleed. I mean, if you don't know what the opponent is playing, it makes sense as well to just bleed, because... How the hell are you supposed to know what the hell your opponent is playing? Right, this actually clogs my opponent's space a bit, which is kind of funny. Alright. Eat away my snake. So I I missequenced this. I should have gone done this first and then gone squirrel because it gives me another turn to banish my stuff. Yeah. That would have made sense. Didn't even draw my combo. So sad. He passes! Oh my god, wait, he actually passed. Wait, why did he pass? Why would he do such a thing? But it doesn't matter, right? I have to do this then. This is my only way to do this. But I say okay. As annoying as it is. Alright, there you go. So, we got one Whipper. Ha ha ha! Another Whipper, baby. Alright. Do this. All right, do this. All right, do this. All right, we actually got away with it. Nice. I mean, it's not a lot of carryover, to be fair. Especially considering the fact that he's five cards up on us. <laughs> Let's not forget that, guys. The guy the guy does have a few points on us here. But we got Snicks. Snicks are kind of funny. Snicks are kind of funny. They will eat his... How did he have 20 card? Oh, because I'm stupid. Oh, that's so annoying. Ah, the sequence. Th th that's literally because of the sequencing. That's literally because of my sequencing with the squirrel. Alright, Vippers are eating. Vippers are eating. I repeat, Vippers are indeed eating now. Alright, let's do this. Alright, they're gonna come out now. They should, right? At, at least one over two should come out of here. Wait, why did he play this for... What? I don't understand. Oh, because he didn't want it to get banished. That makes sense, actually. Wait. No, you didn't just pass, dude! You didn't just pass! <laughs> oh my god! Why did you pass? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Leon. I had to break your heart. Oh, dude, that's so funny. I didn't know. He didn't know. He, he, he had to not know. There's no way he knows and does that. There's no way. There's no way. Not sure. Okay. Okay, we got the... Com oh, we got we got a combo. We got a combo. We, got, we don't have the combo just yet. Let's see if he plays consumes. I don't... I wouldn't assume he plays consumes here. That's a pretty good hand, though. Got Siegfried as well for the Darn combo. Roderick's nice. This is a... Oh! Equinox is actually huge here. Like, I'm not even kidding at this point. Equinox is massive. And this is... And this is why I love it. This is why I wanted to make this video around this combo. Like, this combo is just... Really good. If this strategy was actually viable in the game, I think this combo would would genuinely be played. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. As much as I love the idea of this deck, playing it is is honestly like after a few minutes, in my case, like hours of playing this deck. I just, uh, this is why playing memes is so difficult in Gwen's. Because, like, decks are just good, bro. Decks are just good. Okay, I want my cards, dude. <sighs> yeah, we need, we need, we need the cards, though. We need the cards! Oh, my! Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we are facing Blaze of Glory. Okay, this, as I said, this is the one matchup where we're actually, we actually have a chance. Like, we actually stand a chance against this. And we actually draw cards that do stuff. That's actually quite big. Color is not terrible. I guess I don't need this just yet. And I can draw I can draw something with my companions as well. Yeah, that's actually pretty big. I have yet to draw Idarin. I can get Idarin with my my doggo. Yeah, this card doesn't do anything here. Now the, the, the okay, so we have to really, really figure this one out. We wanna we wanna get Idarin, so we have access to Idarin. We have access to Defender as well. So I think I wanna actually play Defender first. Actually, or, or I just wanna do I just wanna get Defender here. And we are going to discard the Tortoise. Because Tortoise is pretty bad here. Because the Vipper went on the front row, we should... Okay, that's fine. Alright, we just do this, and then we'd go play Idarin off of Menno. Actually, no. We, we try... Okay, actually, we try and high roll here, right? We try to high roll. We have to high roll here. That's fine. Perfectly okay with me to do it this way. All right, see, that's why that's why Skellig is a good matchup. They have good control, but they don't actually have good control in round one, which is actually quite important. He's going to use his leader now. Not sure if I agree with that play. Okay. That's... Okay, whatever. So how many are we getting? We're not getting too many here. But that's fine. We want to get this down. We want to get this down. I'll I'll boost one of these up. Oh, I have I have one as well in my graveyard. I just realized, which isn't terrible. If I have one in my graveyard, I can actually let it eat, which isn't too bad here. So this doesn't actually die. So what's worth? So actually, I actually have to do this, right? Or do I go Damien now? That's okay. I think this is fine. Okay, he's gonna kill that one. So we have two Vippers only, which isn't that much. Actually, nothing. Also, wait, how did he... Oh, because now he has two Vippers. That's a problem. That is a problem for me. He played this quite smart, actually. Killing my Viper was actually a pretty smart play from him. Uh, 
You have to do it like this. Now the two Vipers come out on his side. We can still take it with Iris. There's also a consideration to play Dudu in this deck. But Dudu feels kind of bad. Okay. Interesting. I think I just pass then. Because, I, I mean, I can't even do it now, right? So. Hey, and we got Fakusia out of him as well. That's pretty big. So we got his leader, Fakusia, Turk V, and both of our vi Vipers that he has. Like, winning on even winning on even here doesn't really feel that great for him anyway, right? And we get, like, like it's still pretty good carryover, right? It's, like, 20 points worth of carryover that disrupts his graveyard. Against Skellige, that's actually quite valuable. We'll see how much he has, or, like, how many... He doesn't have that many cards in graveyard. We just need to banish 10 cards, which shouldn't be too hard. And we get this... Oh, that's a pretty good draw, actually. These are pretty good draws here. We're gonna move with these. We, sh we should be quite happy with them. So is this doomed? No, this is the first time. It's pretty good. So... Is he passing here? That is That is what I'm wondering here. Passing doesn't really help him here. He has to kind of go all in. Okay, he doesn't actually do that. I could go... I'm gonna go Squirrel here. Accelerate the thing. What am I gonna banish, though? I think I'm banishing one of the... I wanna banish the Raider. So now he's kind of forced to use his Herald. There you go, there's Herald. Thins his graveyard by a bit. And now we just do this. Now the boys come back. I'll, I'll go left though. I'll actually play both of my cards out here. Okay, that's fine. Nothing we could really do about that. Alright, we do this. Last one comes out. For 7 plus 6, so 13. So he needs... That's not enough. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so, so good. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, we undoomed his stuff, but that's fine. We just we just win now. We have 21 plus 5, uh, 26 points of carryover. It doesn't really matter what we do here anymore. Game is just kind of completed and done. So that's pretty good. That does make me quite happy. Like, it doesn't really matter what we do here. It really doesn't. Because, like, look at this. Look at his graveyard. Look at his graveyard. Look at it. It's full of snakes. <laughs> and honestly, the the Iris and Iris Companions combo did actually quite a bit here. Because the, it gave us the Adarin. Which, in, in our case, wasn't that significant. But it did actually have a little bit of an impact, I think. And now he just passes and he's done. Skellige defeated. Literally, like, that was a legit def uh, defeat there. That was, like, s some stupid stuff where just, like, the opponent was playing a bad deck. This is an actual proper win for us. I'm happy with that. All right, so I could be reviewing Iris as a card. Honestly, Iris wasn't that bad. I mean, I, I feel like every time I gave something Vitality, that card died. I don't know how that worked, but it did somehow work that way, which is pretty funny. So, yeah, uh, Iris's Companions with Iris Von Everick for the discard on Vipper. Seems pretty funny. Uh, you still need to draw <laughs> at least one of the cards, which is kind of funny or, like, stupid if you think about it. But, yeah, like, th this is like a 7 and 6 draw any card you want. But you do have to draw at least one of them or, like, both of them in, in the case if you're not playing, like, a deck like this where you're still playing for, like, a lot of consistency with the Oneromancy and the Decree. I mean, it's not a good combo. This deck in general is not good. It's it's freaking Vipper, guys. Like, Vipper is one of the most binary decks. Like, my opponent eats a Vipper with his Griffin, and the game is literally over the moment that happens. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's not much you can really do against that. Yeah, I mean, it's a fun deck. It's obviously not going to help you climb anywhere close to pro rank. Because it's just like... There's matchups with that you instantly lose the second you start playing cards. So... And some that you win the moment you start playing cards. But even then, you need to draw very well with the sticks still. So it's it's a heavy, heavy combo deck that I just really enjoy, enjoy playing. All right, and that was Iris Von Everek with some Viper magic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwent content, and I'll see you soon.